us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the November 2022 Science Paper 1. The previous episode focused on question E, B, 8. So let us now focus on B, 9. Question A, Loma numero 1, define of life. So basically, what is of life? That's uh, basically what we are required to do. So when you're talking about uh, basically half life, the key thing that we need to know is a time during which half of the number of radioactive atoms present at the beginning decay. Okay, so uh, just to uh, emphasize what you don't forget, so we have uh, basically the graph, this is the time, then this is, uh, let us say, this is the original sample. So this will be decaying. So if this is 100, what you are saying is for it to reach half of it, which is 50, this time, this time is take, you see, the half life. So basically, this is a Lomani numeral 1. So we are saying uh, the time during which half of the number of radioactive atoms or substance atoms or substance present initially in a sample of element decay. So what is key here is one is a time. Two, okay, half of the original atoms or sample they will take to decay. That's uh, the key thing that you need to know. Loma number two, iodine uh, 132 decays by emitting a beta particle to produce a new element Xe and a gamma ray. Write an equation for this decay. So basically we are starting with uh, iodine. So this is a uh, 132. Then this is a uh, 53. So we are starting with uh, this iodine which uh, emit a beta particle and producing a new element called this one and uh, the this the gamma ray so what is happening is um it's going to emit this negative electron called the beta particle then in the process it's also going to uh, emit the gamma ray which is the new thing uh, produced then also uh, it's now producing uh, this element here, uh, called Xe. So to find uh, basically the proton number of Xe and uh, the mass number, what we need to do is uh, basically we need to ensure that uh, this one plus, uh, let us call this to be uh, basically Y, then uh, I shall call this to be uh, basically, uh, I shall just call it R. So, what this tells me is uh, basically if this is equal to y plus that plus that. So if you go to uh, the next page, it will be uh, basically uh, this Loma number 2 to be 53 equals y plus 0 from uh, the, uh, the gamma ray plus a uh, negative 1 from the beta particle. So it's 53 equals y minus 1. Then uh, this crosses the equal sign, so it will be a 53 plus 1 equals y. So y is equal to a base card 54. Okay, then uh, similarly we'll do the same for the top part, it will be 132 uh, plus this one plus 0 plus 0. So this is just r is equal to 132, as simple as that. Then, uh, so that's the principle that you use. So this will be 54, then this will be a 132. Then once you do that, uh, basically, you are good to go. So just make sure that uh, basically, you show, you show uh, basically this, collect this is 54, then also the uh, the gamma 
ray which is the gamma particle then you have uh, these are uh, the beta then in that case you are good to go then um lemma number 3 give one property of a beta particle so if you look at uh, the properties of the beta particle there are a number of them the key ones are three um you have one that the fact that it is negatively charged so the beta particle is just an electron then uh, because it's just an electron is still lighter then it moves within a very high speed then uh, the third one is the fact that uh, beta particles can be uh, deflected under the influence of uh, magnetic or electric field so basically you have to choose one so in this case i'm going to go with the last one so i'm saying um a beta particle is deflected um, under the influence of magnetic as well as electric uh, field so because it's influenced it's an indication that it has a, a charge and that charge you see the negative charge then uh, B Loma numeral 1 mention one medical use of radioactive uh, substance so radioactive substance have got a number of use uh, ranging from uh, different industries so in this case specifically we are being requested to um, mention a uh, one use from the medical industry so this i uh, should be centered there should be specifically medical so basically if you talk about specifically one radioactive you see the gamma ray or gamma particle so a uh, gamma ray which is the same as gamma particle are uh, used to uh, basically uh, treat a uh, cancer or used in the treatment of cancer because they kill cancerous cells that's uh, basically the medical use so you also need to know uh, other applications so you notice that uh, also in the medical use the other thing that you, you can say is uh, basically um, gamma rays are also used uh, basically in uh, sterilization of uh, medical uh, equipment this is uh, because they kill bacteria so that's uh, the other option that uh, you can uh, give Loma numero 2 of beam explain the effect of radioactive substances on the environment uh, one uh, effect is uh, basically they can uh, damage living uh, cells so they can damage living uh, cells so because of this they can become dangerous to uh, living uh, things in a given uh, environment also uh, basically they can cause genetic uh, change to living cells then they also um, uh, radiation so radiation uh, can cause burn so they can destroy the environment by causing burn so basically this is uh, how you answer question 9 to uh, get the optimal max thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode if you find this video to be helpful please uh, consider liking and also if you're new to this channel consider subscribing by liking subscribing and sharing you are going to help us improve our visibility a simple like from you makes a big difference so once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel we discover that we've got so much content so we've got a mathematics a based a revision questions we've got a physics we've got a chemistry then we've got also topic based a section for all the subjects and this is the best section for you if you're having any challenges in any particular topic